so busted. I, I was, I was just... Just what? Lurking around, spying on Spinelli? Yeah. Tell us now. Maximista, I, I, I appreciate you being so fiercely defensive, but I'm sure there's She's nothing to worry. You can't go off on some long tangent and give the stranger time to come up with an excuse. Explain yourself. Fair Maximista has caught me fair and square. What did you just call me? Fair Maximista? I thought that was your name. Not to you. Now stop deflecting and answer my question. I must objectly confess. The mouthy blonde is right. I have been following you. I was never so arrogant as to think that I would be touched by greatness. <laughs> but people like me don't draw people like you into their orbit. So when I, when I saw you, I, my, my circuits overloaded <laughs> and they fried. I couldn't get you out of my mind. I, I, I'm flattered by such kind of Please, Spinelli, tell me you don't believe this crap. This was no random meeting. This vulture in geek's clothing was stalking you and targeting you. Okay, Max Misa is making the proverbial mountain out of a mere molehill. See, when I, when I came upon fellow cyber-wandering Winifred, I, I, she, I found her in distress over a logic loop. <laughs> what? And then all of a sudden, there he was. The jackal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was like kismet. Spinelli doesn't wear cologne. What? Kismet? It's a cologne. Dude. Ass, are you for real? No, um, I... Fred Maximista possesses vast knowledge in the fashion realm, so if she says that kismet is a perfume, you can most certainly believe there is... there is one. However, Maximista, kismet is an actual word, um, meaning fate or destiny, if you will. Oh. Well, in that case, not to burst your delusional bubble, but there's no destiny here for you. Unless it's my heel in your face. I don't participate in physical violence. Well, I suggest you run along, otherwise you'll have more on your hands than you bargained for. In case our paths don't cross again, I just... I want you to know that Saga of Stone Cold is the most awe-inspiring thing to ever hit cyberspace. You know the saga? <gasps> I play it all the time. Oh, yeah? Prove it. You expect Spinelli to believe that you while away hours playing the saga of Stone Cold, please. You know Spinelli wrote that program. You're just trying to impress him. Are you always so hostile? Only when snakes try to sliver onto my friends. Hmm. Of which you have many, I'm sure. Huh? No scam. No scam. On the real. I, I do while away hours playing Saga. How could one not? It's the most challenging, most addictive game ever. Thank you. <laughs> Saga changed the entire landscape of cyber games. It, it immediately made Goth's God Revenge and Magic and Myths irrelevant and obsolete. The Jackal is blown away that you would rank my modest first attempt at online gaming on a par with goth gods i mean <laughs> please please you'd have to get to level 10 of goth before you can even come close to the rush then you get on level one of saga i mean you have made all those other cyber gaming geeks eat your dust and beg for mercy <laughs> spinelli i'm bored and i have things to do lots of things lots of computer things that i need your help for so you could stay here and be fawned over by your freaky fan or you can come with me back to my place Um, now could you delete all the spam from my inbox? Except for that one from Bloomies because there might be an online sale. There you go. Spam is history. Anything else? Actually, there's this one website that sells a bunch of designer clothes at a really good discount, and I can't seem to remember the name. It's Purple Something. Do you think you could find it for me? That would just require a simple search. Something that Max Mies is more than capable of doing herself. I see. I'm a hot mess on the computer, so you'd rather spend your time around someone who's more on your exalted level, like like Winifred, stalker geek? Ah. You know, perhaps the jackal is, um, projecting, but is it possible that Maximus is experiencing just a twinge of jealousy? I'm not jealous. I'm protective of you. Spinelli, you're, you're so innocent and... Gullible. And I'm sorry, but this whole Winifred situation is just very weird. It rings false. Is it so difficult for you to imagine that a, a woman might find me attractive? You are attractive. That's 
That's not what I'm saying. You, you have to look at this objectively. All of a sudden, this matching girl pops up out of nowhere and she's completely cyber-obsessed with you? She knows everything about you. How? You're not high profile. She had to look you up, Spinelli, and she specifically put herself in your path. But, but, but why? That's what worries me. I know that I'm right, okay? I, I have great instincts when it comes to predatory women. And you need to be careful when it comes to Winifred. She'll be more trouble than you expect. 